Raymond Cruz made an indelible impression on television viewers with his instantly unforgettable performance as bad guy Tuco Salamanca on Breaking Bad. The character proved so popular, they brought him back for the prequel spin-off Better Call Saul. So it's a bit surprising that Cruz hasn't gotten more recognition. Until now, that is. Here's a look at the untold truth about the guy who played Tuco on Breaking Bad. Gang Hit Maybe the eeriest thing about Cruz's performance on Breaking Bad is how fully and comfortably he seems to inhabit Tuco's world of drug running and gang banging. But there's a good reason for that. Cruz himself grew up surrounded by hardcore gang activity on the hard scrabble streets of East LA. How bad was it? He told the Daily Beast that when he was just 12, he witnessed a cold-blooded homicide. I saw someone get shot in front of me at point-blank range. The brains came out the back of his head. Yikes. By the book. As a kid, Cruz escaped the world of street gangs both literally and metaphorically through his love of literature. Retreating into books, he read and reread classic novels, and that passion eventually led him to acting, thanks in part to an assist from Gregory Peck. Cruz told smashing interviews, I was fascinated by the translation of the written word to performance. I read Harper Lee's To Kill a Mockingbird and it was one of my favorite books. Then when I saw the movie, I was over the moon about it. That guy. Cruz may be best known for playing Tuco on Breaking Bad and Detective Julio Sanchez on The Closer and Major Crimes, but he's actually been toiling away in Hollywood as a classic that guy since the 80s. He got his big break in the now-forgotten 1987 comedy film Made to Order and has since landed more than 80 film and television roles. From movies like Clear and Present Danger and Training Day to TV shows including Cagney and Lacey and Murder, She Wrote. We love it when a character actor finally becomes a star. Good guys and bad guys. It's not that unusual for a popular character to spin off from a show into another series, but Cruz holds the distinction of doing it twice and at the same time. While playing Detective Julio Sanchez on The Closer, a role he originated way back in 2005, he moonlighted as Tuco on Breaking Bad, working seven days a week to film both parts concurrently. He apparently liked the challenge, though, because after Detective Sanchez spun off into major crimes, he then reprised his role as Tuco on Better Call Saul at the same time. Given that one character is a cop and the other a criminal, is it possible we could ever see a crossover? He loves to cook. One of Tuco's most intriguing character traits is the fact that he really enjoyed cooking. Not meth like Walter White, mind you, but delicious handcrafted burritos and other meals made with love? So where did Tuco get it from? Well, from Cruz, of course, who is a bit of a chef in his own right. Just don't bother trying to emulate his grilled pork chop recipe, because it requires an ingredient not for sale, his mom's homemade chili. He told AMC, I'll put it on a bed of lettuce with a grilled jalapeno or a small green chili, take it to the point just before it starts to cook completely through, and I'll top it with my mom's chili and a couple slices of cheese. Man, is the best thing ever. He's an introvert. Tuco might be a super intense, in-your-face villain, but in real life, Cruz couldn't be more different. In fact, he's basically an introvert, preferring quiet reading to drug-fueled rampages. He told Smashing Interviews, I'm so quiet and I like to read. I like to tinker in the garage. I love working on motorcycles and cars. I like to be alone. If I'm in a room with a lot of people, I'm probably the last person you'll notice. I'm practically invisible. Hard Pass when Cruz was initially approached by the producers of Breaking Bad about the role of Tuco Salamanca, Cruz had a simple answer for them, no. Sure, it's hard to imagine someone else's Tuco now, but Cruz was concerned that filming both Breaking Bad and The Closer at the same time would be too much work for him. But finally, they convinced him the old-fashioned way by appealing to his ego. He told the AV Club, they couldn't find anyone who could do it. I was shooting seven days a week with no rest and working on two different things. It was crazy. Tuco's demise. Tuco's demise was shocking, but even more surprising is the fact that it was Cruz himself who asked the producers of Breaking Bad to eliminate the character. Why? Partly because of his grueling filming schedule, but also because there was at least one prominent fan of the show who really disliked the character, Cruz's wife. Cruz told Rotten Tomatoes, My wife hated it. She hated Tuco. She hated the energy. Tuco is this wild beast. My wife is like, get away from me. Tuco might be tough, but he's no match for an unhappy wife. 